Bereshit, Genesis 32. And Yaakov went on his way, and the angels of Elohim met him. And when Yaakov saw them, he said, This is Elohim's host. And he called the name of that place Makanaim. And Yaakov sent messengers before him to Esau, his brother, unto the land of Seir, the country of Edom. And he commanded them, saying, Thus shall you speak, rather ye speak unto my lord Esau. Your servant Yaakov says thus, I have sojourned with Levan and stayed there until now. And I have oxen and asses, flocks and men servants, and women servants, and I have sent to tell my Lord that I may find grace in your sight. And the messengers returned to El Yaakov, saying, We came to your brother Esau, and also he comes to meet you, and four hundred men with him. Then Yaakov was greatly afraid and distressed, and he divided at the people that was with him, and at the flocks, and at the herds, and the camels into two bands, and said, If Esau come to the one company and smite it, then the other company which is left shall escape. And Yaakov said, O Elohim of my father Avraham, and Elohim of my father Yitzhak, Yahuwah, which said unto me, Return unto your country and to your kindred, and I will deal well with you. I am not worthy of the least of all the mercies and of all the truth which you have showed at unto your servant, for with my staff I passed over at this yarden, and now I am become two bands. Deliver me, I pray you, from the hand of my brother, from the hand of Esau, for I fear him, lest he will come and smite me and the mother with children, with the children. And you said, I will surely do you good and make at your seed as the sand of the sea which cannot be numbered for multitude. And he lodged there that same night and took of that which came to his hand a present for Esau, his brother. Two hundred she-goats and twenty he-goats, two hundred ewes and twenty rams, thirty milch camels with their colts, forty kine and ten bulls, twenty she-asses and ten fowls. And he delivered them into the hand of his servants, every drove by themselves, and said unto his servants, Pass over before me, and put a space betwixt drove and drove. And he commanded at the foremost, saying, when Esau, my brother, meets you and asks you, saying, Whose are you, and where go you, and whose are these before you? Then you shall say, They be your servant Yaakov's. It is a present sent unto my lord Esau. And behold, also he is behind us. And so commanded he at the second, and at the third, and at all that followed the droves, saying, On this manner shall ye speak unto Esau when ye find him. And say ye, moreover, behold, your servant Yaakov is behind us. For he said, I will appease him with the present that goes before me. And afterward I will see his face, peradventure he will accept of me. So went the present over before him, and himself lodged that night in the company. And he rose up that night, 
and took at his two women and at his two women servants and at his eleven sons and passed over at the ford Yabok. And he took them and sent them over at the brook and sent over at that he had. And Yaakov was left alone and there wrestled a man with him until the breaking of the day. When he saw that he prevailed not against him, he touched the hollow of his thigh, and the hollow of Yaakov's thigh was out of joint as he wrestled with him. And he said, Let me go, for the day breaks. And he said, I will not let you go, except you bless me. And he said unto him, What is your name? And he said, Yaakov. And he said, Your name shall be called no more Yaakov, but Yisrael. For as a prince have you power with Elohim and with men, and have prevailed. And Yaakov asked him and said, Tell me, I pray you, your name. And he said, Wherefore is it that you do ask after my name? And he blessed him there. And Yaakov called the name of the place Penuel, for I have seen Elohim face to face, and my life is preserved. And as he passed over at Penuel, the sun rose up upon, rather, upon him, and he halted upon his thigh. Therefore the children of Yisrael eat not at of the sinew which shrank, which is upon the hollow of the thigh, unto this day, because he touched the hollow of Yaakov's thigh in the sinew that shrank.